Hey, Niall here with my 2001 7 Series. Uh, my uh, engine's been running rough recently and I have a feeling it's the spark plugs and the ignition coils. Uh, I need to order the kit to replace them all. They're not cheap. So a short-term fix is to pop open the valve covers and take a look and see how much oil is in there. Now, I already know that bank one, which is the passenger side, had quite a bit of uh, oil pulled up in the third and fourth cylinder injector or in ignition area. Uh, bank two, I haven't opened up yet. So we're gonna take a look. Pretty simple to do. You need a 10 mil ratchet uh, and that's pretty much it. This is all you need. You don't need an extender for it. All the bolts are all the same. We'll take a look at how to get into the engine. Um, and I'll show you the best way that I found to clean up the oil. Uh, it's certainly a lot easier than what I tried before. Uh, I tried to take a rag and screwdriver my way in and that didn't work. So I'll show you a better way to do it. So we'll take a look. This uh, applies to pretty much any of the M62 V8 engines. So it was available on the E38, the E39, and the first generation uh, E53 X5 um, that they came out with. So if you've got maybe a rough idle, you wanna see if there's any oil in there, this is the way to do it. Okay, so the absolute first thing that you wanna do is let the engine cool down. If you've just pulled it in after driving, even for a short distance, it's probably warmed up to whatever the thermostat's set to. If it's a 2001, yours is gonna be like mine, runs optimally at 105 degrees Celsius. It's very hot. So usually when I do any work like this, uh, either the car has been off for about six hours minimum, and I've let it sort of air dry in the garage by opening up the door and the back door and letting it vent out with the hood open. Uh, the safest way to do it though is to wait overnight and then it should be cool. So first thing you're gonna take off is the sort of the noise dampening cover here. Um, you would push down these, mine are all broken, but you push down all four of them to pop them out and they slide off. And yours are probably like mine too where the rubbers are busted. So you take those off, put them just to the side there. And it's always good to have good light. I'm kind of cheating here a little bit because we've got studio lighting in the in the garage here, but you'd want to have a good setup for light. You want to make sure that you can see what you're doing and where you're doing it. And I also recommend too, just because of past experience when I was doing this, when you take off any of the bolts or nuts or caps like we're going to do, don't put them anywhere on the engine. Have a tray beside your car so that you can keep them there because I've dropped some bolts and they're gone forever. So first thing, just here on the side, you've got two covers that cover up the 10 millimeter nuts that hold the cover on. So I use just a little tool here to pop them off. Often, especially if your car had a few owners before you, you'll probably find that those are not even on there anymore. I'm sure you can buy them from BMW. They're probably a dollar, but you can go to a junkyard. If you find a BMW, any of the ones that have this engine, you'll find the covers. So take those off. Now that you've got that sorted out, you're pretty much ready to go to start taking off the cover itself. So, like I said, take our little 10 mil here, and we just take these bad boys out. Takes a little bit just to unscrew them. Now, these have a washer on them, but the washer is threaded inside. So unless you really, like really messed up, you should not be able to lose it. As you can see here, more or less, that nut's not gonna go anywhere, that washer rather. But keep it on the side, you don't wanna lose it. Very important to have it. And then fit your hand in there. And again, same thing, just to ratchet that boy right off of there. Really straightforward and then after you can just do it by hand, get rid of it. There you go, now you're ready to pull it off. Okay, so once you're ready, you've taken off the two bolts there, you just essentially peel it off. Looks pretty clean in there. Now these little uh, washer things here, those can fall out. So just keep 
an eye out. Don't make too many sudden moves. Now I'm gonna pull the camera and we'll go see on the inside if we can. Maybe a little tough. But yeah, I mean for the most part, it's not too too bad. Can't really see very well with the camera just because it has to focus, but there's a little bit of oil there. Not too bad. Could it be the reason why there's a bit of a rough run on my engine? Perhaps. Um, now, in order to get off the ignition coils, you use that same 10 millimeter bolt, or ratchet rather, and there's two bolts, two nuts for each one that you've got there. So just twist those off. You have to be super duper careful because you could certainly lose them. And I did lose two of them. They are somewhere in my, uh, in, in the area there where my uh, spark plug, or sorry, the, um, the fuse panel is in the engine base. Those are gone. So you be very careful. Take those out. If you are doing a service on this and you've bought a kit, I know that there is a kit for sale on the internet, which I'm going to buy. And really the only reason I'm not going to mention who I'm buying it from is I, you know, I'm not sponsored by them and I'm not uh, going to promote any company because I haven't personally bought from there and I don't know them. So I don't know if they're good or not, but you can go online. If you're on a BMW community, I'm sure that they have some recommendations. Now pull out the injectors or in the ignition coils, rather put your fingers behind this little clip, pull it out and it can pop out. I usually like to pull. So you can pull off the plug and you're good to go. So there's your ignition coil. It's actually pretty clean, I'm surprised. And you can't see on the video, but it's actually bone dry in there, in that plug. Now the issue you might be having if you have a rough idle, misfiring perhaps, and uh, you're gonna go ahead and change the ignition coils and the spark plugs, you want to look to see if there's oil in there. If there's oil actually inside the boot of your ignition coil. So for example, when we take a look at this one, you've either got some oil pooling here, right around the tip, or when you've pulled it out, I'll just focus that for you, sorry, there we go. So you've either got some oil around here or in the spark plug itself, it's filled with oil. That's uh, certainly a problem, it means that your valve cover gasket needs to be done. Um, I don't really know the process to it. I'll be honest with you. It's something that I want to do. It's not something that we're going to be doing today. So you take that out, clean it up, and I'm going to show you how to clean them um, to kind of get it nice and clean. Because so we're going to be putting in new injector coils, or sorry, ignition coils and uh, spark plugs. It'd be pretty silly to then go ahead and make them full of oil again. So clean them up. Eventually you'll want to fix the gasket, but for now you can just remove these. And also note, not that it's something that you would get confused about when you're doing it, but you've got a ground wire on, these are cylinders six and seven on the driver's side. So you just want to make sure that uh, you put those back in. So again, fingers behind kind of pull it up. I like to pull them out. And again, that one's bone dry. I don't even know why I'm taking them out. If they're dry, I'm not gonna, there's no bother in them. They should also make a pop. You might not hear it on the video, but you can hear like a pop. They're kind of hard to take out. That means there's a good suction on them. They're doing their job properly. So if they're doing that, chances are you don't have to replace them. But if you're gonna do them, you might as well do all eight at the same time. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna take all them out. I'm gonna see how bad they are. If uh, they're pretty clean, then I'll just show you the, the best way because there is a little bit of oil pooled just uh, down in this area here. I'll show you how to clean it up. All right, so I've pulled off all the uh, ignition coils on bank two, the driver's side here of my M62. Looks pretty good. There's no oil in any of the boots, which means that A, the valve cover gasket is not leaking that much and B, the ignition coils themselves are in good shape. They're keeping the oil out of the, um, of the spark plug. So that means that 
as far as I can tell, everything looks pretty good. Now there's a teeny tiny little bit of oil. Rather than me showing you the other side, which I know is a mess, I'm gonna show you just really quickly here so you get an idea. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, I've seen people online, they've talked about taking like a rag using your spark plug remover tool, put the rag around it, try to clean up the oil that way. I found a simpler way. It's a shop vac. Take your shop vac, do what I've done, take a straw, tape it together. It's gonna sound kind of poop, but it works. So I'll show you real quick. I apologize if the video becomes very loud. I will do my best to edit it. But essentially, just take a light, use that to get in there so that you can see all the oil that you're cleaning up. Use Mr. Straw and you're good to go. So let's give it a shot and see how much we can clean up of our little oil filled, not really, but a little bit of the oil filled here. That's really it. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, especially there wasn't really a lot of oil in there to begin with. That itself, realistically, and almost 100% isn't causing any misfiring or rough idle. There was no oil in the ignition coils uh, themselves. So really, my issue I think is somewhat related to having the spark plugs and ignition coils done, but it doesn't really have anything to do with the Ga uh, the, the gasket itself. So again, this is a good way to, to go about cleaning it up. If you're going to be replacing spark plugs and the ignition coils, clean up all the oil first, use your shop vac, get it on and, and clean it up both sides of the same. So again, I'm not going to show you bank one, uh, which is the passenger side because it's essentially the exact same thing. Uh, and then when you're done, you've got all the, the bolts put back in, your ignition system back as it belongs. You just take your cover again, these uh, little bolts here, these little, I don't know what you wanna call them, washers essentially, they do fall out. So make sure that they are not upside down. And you just stick that bad boy back on. Take your two uh, little bolts here with your little washers, stick them in and screw it back together and you're good to go. And that's pretty much it. You can give it a, a cleaning before you put it on if you want, just to clean off the cover. Not really necessary, but essentially the steps to, to put everything back together are absolutely the reverse of what we just did and then you're good to go and uh, like i said both sides get them done do it all at the same time and uh, it might solve your your roughness it did for me a little bit but i'm still misfiring that's another issue we'll figure it out later thanks for watching if you have any requests for specific tips or tricks or repairs or things like this please leave a comment below uh, let me know what you'd like to see next i mean i'm not super hands-on i'd like to be i just don't have the setup here but if there's something that you'd like to see, leave a comment. Let us know what you want to do. Um, and we'll try our best to do it for you. Thanks for watching.